Hello, my name is Monica Bernarek and I work at the Department of Linguistics at the University of Sydney. This screencast belongs to a series called Key Concepts in Corpus Linguistics and the topic for this screencast is collocation. So, what is collocation? In essence, collocation is about the core currents of words. If we look at a word in the corpus, we can see what other words it occurs with. So we can see words in their surrounding co-text. For example, here, gaze occurs with forehead in the first line and it occurs with modest in line 2. In essence, collocation is about this type of co-occurrence. Historically, the term was coined by Firth. He's a highly influential British linguist, but not a corpus linguist. From then on, different approaches um, were taken to collocation in linguistics. Broadly, we can distinguish between semantic, syntactically informed and statistical approaches, although statistics may be used in all three. In a semantic approach, researchers are interested in what constrains the combination of words. So collocation here is used to refer to combinations of lexical items, whose combination is restricted simply because of linguistic norms rather than any semantic features or properties. So the, the fact that we say, take a picture rather than make a picture, isn't determined by semantic features. There is no semantic reason why take is used rather than make and indeed in other languages such as German it's a verb equivalent to make that is used here. So this is an example of collocation. A second approach would be the syntactically informed approach. Here researchers are interested in words that collocate with one another and are in a grammatical relationship. For example, one of them is a pre-modifying adjective, the other one is the head noun, as in wild claims, or one word is a verb and the other one is its direct object, as in caused harm. Two researchers in particular are associated with this approach, Stefanovic and Gris, and they have coined the term colostruction. Most commonly, Collocation is defined in terms of probability and statistics. So Baker talks about collocation as follows. When a word regularly appears near another word and the relationship is statistically significant in some way, then such co-occurrences are referred to as collocates and the phenomena of certain words frequently occurring next to or near each other is collocation. So collocates are usually calculated through measures of statistical significance such as MI score or T score. If we go back to the definition, we can tease out three criteria for collocation. A word regularly appears near another word. So appears near another word. Collocation refers to the co-occurrence of one word with other words. Importantly, the co-occurrence has to be regular. So regularly appears. And thirdly, it has to be statistically significant. The relationship is statistically significant in some way. So um, collocation defined as regular, statistically significant co-occurrence. If we go back to um, our concordance lines for gaze, we can look at which words occur repeatedly one to the left of the noun, uh, repeatedly meaning at least twice, and we can see that this would be the words the, my and his. So um, this would satisfy criteria one and two, namely regular or typical co-occurrence. However, this type of analysis can't tell us about collocation in a strict sense because we don't know if these relations are statistically significant. So criterion 3, statistical significance, is missing. So analyzing concordances doesn't tell us about collocates in the sense of the statistical approach. Instead of analyzing concordances, we could use automatic collocation analysis tools which apply statistical measures to word occurrences in a corpus. In sum, the statistical approach has taken off and seems to be the one most widely used these days. Thank you for listening and here are the references.